in the previous lessons we created a table with conditional formatting like we did in Excel. Now what we want to do is unite managers with the table and create the menu for every type of service to demonstrate the amount of sales made by every sales manager. In the same way we created Excel charts. Let's try and do this. We need to delete the pie chart, remove the table and mark the field with managers. Stretch the table to check everything. What can you see? We have the third column with managers, but we still cannot see what we originally wanted. Go to Values field and move sales managers between Service and Sales to regroup the data. However, the table still looks flat, very much like in the data mode. We also need to minimize the manager's names in the first column. This is where we can use another useful tool, the matrix. Select our table and click on Matrix in the Visualization panel. We now have the most detailed example of matrix with the individual column of every sales manager. But we need a more concise version. Know that there are rows, columns and values fields in the Visualization panel. Unite the data with services and sales managers into rows. This is exactly what we want. We can see detailed information about the sales of every service when clicking plus. Moreover, we can also regroup the structure of the matrix itself. If we change position of the sales managers in service, we will see the following. There is a list of services sold with the sales managers' names in every row. We can add one more level. Earlier, we grouped sales managers into best, worst and others. Now, drag the sales managers into group their rows field. At this point, there are three groups with sales managers' names and the service type sold. Let us go back to the original structure, delete groups and move sales managers' names to the columns field. As we see, conditional formatting stays, but in this case, the matrix looks too complicated. If there are too many columns in the matrix, use another tool. Open conditional formatting, switch off the data bars and switch on the background color. Power BI highlights maximum values as does Excel. Open Advanced Controls, color minimum values white and maximum values any color more transparent, for example, this one. Now cells with zero values are white, while the main emphasis on the data maximum values. Look at the columns and the row total. The totals make the matrix too complex and heavy, but they can sometimes be really useful. Anyway, you should know there are a subtotal field. Open it. Here we can turn off the row subtotals and column subtotals. We can change font color here as well. Let us make the total more transparent and try this one. We can select another font family and font color. Let us try something lighter. Now the totals have blended in with other values. 
Anyway, we have to use the bold font. Our row headers should look like the column headers. Open row headers and select the same background. Also, I'd like changing font colors to dark blue in row and columns headings. As you see, we can use the same colors as we did in the previous lesson. Increase the text size for row headers and choose font usual, not bold, Seger for the column header. We have discussed the main differences between the table and the matrix. Now you can make them both in Power BI and Excel. However, remember that visualization and interactive tools such as PAR and column charts look much better. They highlight necessary information for all tools on the dashboard, while tables and matrices just present all the values you have. In my opinion, we should use tables only when they are really necessary. If we do, we need to try and make them as simple as possible.